Hello, and thank you for watching. So what is Humble Bundle? Well, let's go to our browsers and put in HumbleBundle.com and uh, take a look for ourselves. What Humble Bundle is is a website based on selling video games to you for very cheap, uh, and those prices that you pay go to charity. Now, you can choose to pay how much you want to pay, uh, or you can also pay the high tier of $15. Sometimes it's more than that, um, but when you pay that extra price, you get some bonus items. Sometimes it's shirts, sometimes it's uh, other physical merchandise that you can get. Most of the time, it is video games. Uh, you can see that the average price here today is $7.77, which are lucky numbers, by God. How about that? Um, but by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be a little bit more than that. No problem. It's still going to be really cheap. And you can see that these are really great games. Tomb Raider is worth the $15. Uh, really, really fun game. Um, now, they don't put a lot of new titles in these, uh, these bundles, but the games that they're giving you are quality, and they are going to be worth the price that you're going to pay, especially if you pay, I mean, dirt cheap, guys. I mean, you can pay dirt cheap. Uh, now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the charities that you are donating to, this one is obviously for Make-A-Wish and GamesAid. Well, let's say you don't know what GamesAid is. You can click on GamesAid and it will give you a brief description here that you can check out. It also gives you a link to the website that you can go to and learn a little bit more about that particular charity that you may not know anything about. Uh, sometimes there are videos like uh, Make a Wish here. You can just click on the video and it'll teach you or show you a little bit more about what they are about. Now, when we come to pay, all you have to do is you can choose some of the uh, preset options, anywhere between $10 to $100. Um, or you can also put in your own price if that's something that you would like to do. Uh, this is a very easy thing, it's not at all difficult. Um, if you want to pay the full price to get these games, then you would just put in the $15 right there in the little area where that is available. Uh, you can use your card, you can use PayPal, you can pay with Amazon, or you can pay with Bitcoins. What a cool option that is. I think that's new. I don't remember seeing that before. Um, but every day they're trying to make this easier and easier for you to use. Now to change the price, all you do is just click on the little box where the numbers are and you put in fifteen dollars bam there you go easy 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 to do anybody can do this your three-year-old can do it although I don't suggest giving your three-year-old your credit card <laughs> uh, now when you want to choose where the money goes you just click on the option to choose where your money goes and you can see that Square Enix is being kinda greedy trying to take eleven dollars and twenty-five cents uh, out of the fifteen dollars but I say you know what Square you guys are billionaires, so we're not going to give you anything. Uh, but you can also see that the Humble Tip has also exceeded the charity amount. Now, I don't mind giving a tip to Humble Bundle for their program. It is a great program. But in the case like this, I'm going to say $2 to $5 is, is definitely a good tip. And uh, if you want to just put in exactly how much, you can do that. Now when you do that, it will pop up in case you haven't made the quota for the the $15 price or whatever it is. It'll show you here, you know, here's a little warning. You you need you need to put in about 13 more cents to unlock the additional two games. Very easy to do. You just make the adjustment and here you go. You are good to go. Uh, at that point, you will just choose whichever p payment method you want and you're on your way. How simple is that, guys? Very easy, easy stuff to do. Again, you can see, you can, you can donate anonymously or you can have credit. It's up to you. Along with these bundles, they do other bundles, such as the weekly bundle. You can see that this week's theme is made in Japan. These are all games, all of them available on Steam. Proceeds are going to save the children as well as WotC. Again, you can look those up and see exactly what those charities are. If you're into books, they have book bundles and they give you a lot of books for very cheap. I believe the average right here, yes, is about $12.58. Again, by the time it gets to you, it might be a little bit more than that. Of course, you can also give them the $15 for the three additional books that aren't available if you pay less. Uh, the mobile bundle is also another option that you can purchase from. These are games that go to your Android phone, uh, and right now there isn't 
a mobile bundle, um, but when there is, this will be full of games. You can also check out their Humble Store. Uh, you can find previous bundles in the store for a set price, sometimes $20, sometimes $30, and uh, you can't choose what you want to pay this time, but you can at least get a bundle that you might have missed out on previously. And as with all of the other purchases that you make on HumbleBundle.com, part of the proceeds do go to charity, and that is a fantastic program to be a part of. Why not help people who are less fortunate than you, and at the same time, getting a little something for that for yourself? There's nothing wrong with that. We do like quantity. There's nothing greedy about that. Uh, paying low price for a lot of games is something we all like to do. Now, with this website, as well as many other websites, you will have to create a login. All you need is a email address and, of course, whatever password you want to use. And you can get to the purchases that you have made in Humble Bundle at any time. Say you uh, purchased some DLC that was along with a bundle for a game that you do not own. Eventually, it, that game goes on a Steam sale or something like that, and you get it. You can always go back because they are completely organized very well for you. You can go to them at any point in time that after you have purchased them, and they will be there waiting for you. Uh, you can also gift games. Say if you have a double uh, copy of something, you can gift those games to your friends or to whoever you like. I like to do that for uh, followers, subscribers, and people who really show a lot of support to my channel. I always like to give back a little something more to those people. Please be aware that this isn't something that you can turn around and sell and make your money back on. That is kind of a low thing to do, wouldn't you agree? And that's kind of shady. They used to be able to do that. There were people that were doing that, um, but they stopped that. It is all now done through direct links to your Steam account. Um, speaking of a Steam account, for those friends that also have Steam accounts that I mentioned before that you can gift to, in order to gift your games, what you do is you would click on this little gray uh, package, little little gift there. You would click on that and it will take you uh, to a link that you can give to your friends and you can give the game away. Now guys, if these are the kinds of videos you like to see, and if these are the kinds of videos you would like to see more of, I'm sure you're going to like the videos that are on my channel, so please make your way over there. Click subscribe, give me a like for giving you this information, leave a comment guys, I'd love to hear from you, and I'll see you in the next video.